You're very welcome. Thank you for uh, uh, your invitation and this organization. Uh, good morning for you and uh, good evening for other people and good night for others. Uh, here in Italy is uh, uh, afternoon. Uh, we talk uh, about uh, uh, this problem uh, that are classical problem, uh, problem um, classical inverse problems uh, that concern uh, uh, the determination of unknown boundaries uh, from some uh, uh, finite uh, measurement of, of uh, um, uh, some measurement. And uh, we, um, I want to say that this, um, this type of problem uh, is uh, at the same time a good and simple introduction to inverse problems because that uh, uh, can be formulated in a simple way. And uh, uh, they are a, a source of very challenging mathematical questions. Uh, the um, contents of the talk should be the following. First, uh, uh, I give a large introduction that concerns the second order elliptic case. The, um, in some sense, this, this, uh, this case, this second order elliptic case, is a, a a paradigmatic, paradigmatic case because uh, main, uh, the main idea and tools uh, are, uh, are uh, clear, very clear and uh, uh, generally uh, the strategy uh, in other situation is, is similar but with a uh, very important difference. And we consider the case of uh, Kirchhoff law plate equation and the generalized plane stress problem. Uh, we, are, we have uh, represents more recent results. And uh, I, I would also uh, give the, the proof of the crucial property um, that a law has to find a optimal stability estimate. And the, that is the um, very challenging mathematical question. That is uh, the, uh, the property of finite vanishing rate of, uh, at a boundary in particular, for solution to plate equation. And uh, this is also known with the uh, quantitative estimate of strong unit continuation property. We uh, use this uh, property in the form of optimal sphere inequality at the boundary. Then uh, we discuss about open questions. Now, for the introduction, we assume that uh, omega uh, it's a, a bounded domain of Rn, and uh, uh, the boundary is at least uh, of C1 alpha. Uh, we assume that the boundary is a union of two uh, portions, and uh, uh, an accessible uh, uh, portion, a known portion, gamma A, and an uh, unaccessible and unknown portion, gamma i. Uh, uh, this portion are not, uh, <coughs> not uh, overlapping. Uh, then we formulate the, the direct problem in the most simple case. 
uh, it is uh, for the case in which the 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 data on the boundary is uh, of uh, um, of this clay type. We have a, a metric A, a symmetric elliptic, uh, elliptic and elliptic, and um, a uh, function psi that uh, uh, is defined on the boundary. Uh, we should consider this function uh, at the same time as uh, the, the condition, the natural condition, some condition, natural or uh, depending by physical problem, uh, the condition that uh, um, uh, is satisfied uh, on the, the boundary, uh, the unknown boundary, and at the same time as an input. Uh, so, uh, in, uh, in particular, this uh, function psi is zero on uh, the uh, uh, unknown portion. I repeat that I, I consider here a particular case because it's the, the most simple case, the uh, Dirichlet case, but. Uh, it's also possible to consider a situation in which the boundary is uh, uh, the conormal derivative or the, the normal problem or the uh, Robin boundary um, condition. Uh, so the, the problem consists in uh, determining uh, uh, U as a solution of this uh, the uh, boundary value problem. And the inverse problem consists in determining gamma i from the uh, measurement of um, the normal derivative uh, on a portion sigma of the accessible portion gamma i. Uh, we should have a, a picture here that explains the situation. The red line represents the unknown um, portion of uh, uh, the boundary, and uh, this um, uh, this line, this surface, uh, this portion of boundary can have, in some sense, also. Um, interior portion. And the black line, the black surface, uh, gamma A represents the, the known and accessible uh, portion of the boundary. On uh, sigma, we get the measurement. We are interested in the stability uh, issue. So, uh, we are interested in the continuous dependence of uh, gamma i from the Cauchy data, that is from u, conormal derivative of u on sigma. Uh, in this uh, old paper, 20 years ago, we prove a logarithmic, that is uh, uh, optimal stability estimate. Now, uh, I give some uh, um, a list of, of reference uh, very, very fastly, uh, not only on uh, the second order case, uh, uh, but also uh, concerning other equations. And then we uh, continue with the discussion about uh, the second order case. For the second order case, uh, we have uh, uh, many papers, perhaps not uh, here. I have written not uh, all the papers, but uh, the papers that we consider uh, uh, we consider more important this discussion is the paper of Alessandrini, Beretta, Rosette, myself of 2000. Because as I said, uh, this paper should be considered as a, a paradigmatic uh, paper. 
Here we consider the Dirichlet and Neumann case. I also recall the paper of Sinchit because uh, uh, this paper uh, is considered uh, the Robin uh, uh, the, 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 the Robin condition, and in the, the Robin condition, the uniqueness is, is not so simple as in the uh, in the Dirichlet uh, and the Neumann condition. Also, in Glaze, uh, Mariani written some uh, something about uh, Robin uh, problem. Also, I recall the paper. Uh, uh, with myself, in which we considered uh, uh, the case of um, uh, um, a polygonal uh, uh, unknown. The, the, and the, the important fact is that the, uh, the polygonal we uh, can assume that uh, the number of parameters are finite, and so we are able to find a leap stability estimate. For uh, the three dimensional density system, we have not yet a log, log, a log estimate, but we have only a log log estimate. The authors, uh, the authors that study this question are Morassi, mainly Morassi and the Rosetta. For the plate equation and the generalized spray and stress problem we discussed today, there are also results for parabolic equations. For the wave equation, uh, in this case, uh, it's uh, also important to consider the uh, finance time of observation. And it is important to recall also the paper uh, in which is proved the um, optimality of uh, uh, logarithmic estimate. Paper of uh, Alessandrini, 97, and uh, the crypto, Rondi, myself, for 2006 uh, uh, for uh, the parabolic case. Now we return to the, the strategy for the second order elliptic problem. Um, we, the, the tools that we used uh, are a, a, a stability estimate of the problem small and small propagation estimate and the uh, finite vanishing property at the interior and at the boundary. Uh, the first uh, the um, argument is, uh, I imagine, well known. Also, the second is known, but uh, I uh, uh, want to discuss more about this, this question. And I, I want to recall here what uh, is the meaning of uh, this is the definition of finite vanishing property at the interior and at the boundary. Um, Consider, for instance, as we are considering now, a operator of second order, a, we say that this operator enjoys a finite vanishing property at the interior if for any x0 in omega and for any non-identically vanishing solution u to the equation in omega, we have that the S2 norm on, uh, of u on a ball of a small radius r and the center at x0 uh, vanish um, at most polynomially uh, with, respect to, uh, with respect to r. This property was proved by many authors in many different contexts with many different uh, uh, condition on the coefficients. Uh, I prefer to uh, refer to this property um, with the Aronshine theorem that prove this uh, uh, property when the coefficients are lifted uh, continuous. And uh, essentially, this condition 
cannot be improved. And similarly, we we say that uh, uh, we say that uh, P enjoys a finite vanishing property at the boundary, and here it's important to to specify which kind of, of boundary condition we have. Here we consider the most simple case, uh, the Dirichlet conditions, most simple for the second order uh, equation. And uh, um, solutions that, uh, uh, enjoys this, this property uh, if uh, um, it doesn't vanish. And um, solution of not only of the equation, but of the equation and of satisfy um, a, a boundary homogeneous. Uh, condition u is equal to zero on a portion gamma uh, of uh, the boundary of omega. And uh, similarly, here we have that uh, um, u, the, the, the L2 norm of u on a ball, a small ball of uh, radius r and centered in a point x0 gamma. Uh, Vanish at most, uh, most polynomially. Here I have uh, represented uh, the situation in the picture because the, to recall that this, this kind of results of uh, um, ah, moment. Uh, this property is uh, um, proved by many authors, but in the general case, it was proved by Adolfson and Scoriata in 1997. Um, the situation is, uh, is represented in, uh, in the essential uh, geomet geometric factors. Uh, and um, we have the equation, the shadow region. Um, on the, this uh, uh, red uh, surface, red line, u is equal to zero, and uh, uh, the finite vanishing property at the boundary say that in the, the point x zero, the u, uh, roughly speaking, uh, uh, vanish at most polynomially. Oh, now we give a, a, a sketch of the proof of the stability estimate. The sketch of the uh, stability estimate that is also a, a this, this general strategy in this type of problem. Uh, we have uh, two solutions, two, solution, two domains. Omega, omega j that corresponds to two different uh, to different unknown gamma one i and gamma i two uh, uh, and the two uh, solution u j of the this uh, the clear problem. Whatever that uh, the C J is uh, uh, the same on gamma A because this is a fixed part of the boundary, and uh, it is this zero on gamma uh, I one. That C one is uh, zero on gamma Y uh, one. Uh, it is uh, C two is zero on gamma I two. Uh, we have, we give uh, this input uh, psi, and uh, we measure the uh, normal derivative. Uh, and we assume an, an error on this normal derivative. So the problem is to uh, evaluate the uh, outer distance between gamma. Uh, I one gamma I two 
or uh, it is equivalent to uh, evaluate the uh, outdoor distance between omega one and omega two. The steps, uh, generally speaking, are of uh, a, a couple of two steps. In the first couple of steps, we uh, find a, a, a rough stability estimate. Uh, I don't discuss uh, about this rough stability estimate. With this rough stability estimate, we uh, have the information that the unknown are far are uh, are close uh, close enough, and then we can refine this uh, uh, this uh, first rough estimate by uh, uh, refined and the uh, optimal estimate. This couple of that uh, are similar. Um, first, we estimate, uh, we, first we uh, denote by uh, G, the connected component of the intersection of omega one and omega two that contains the accessible part. Then we estimate u j in omega j minus g, and from one we estimate the out of distance. I have represented the situation in a picture. So uh, the situation, in some sense, corresponds to the, uh, the 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 second couple of steps when we already know that the um, uh, the solution are uh, uh, close uh, close enough. Uh, in, in the rough estimate, we have that the geometry uh, is more involved, of course, because uh, we can have uh, this portion and uh, in, uh, in this part of, of the uh, of the of the screen. Sometimes. So um, we consider in this black area, we consider the difference u1 minus u2. This is uh, the set G. Um, here on uh, this uh, phase sigma, we have uh, the Cauchy data. And uh, we are able to find a stability estimate for Cauchy in this, uh, um, this region, small region. With the uh, smallness propagation, we go in uh, this more large region, in, uh, roughly speaking, in uh, all G, uh, up to the boundary. Now, up to the boundary, we, we are able to uh, obtain a, a logarithmic stability estimate for the difference u1 minus u2. But, uh, for instance, for the Dirichlet, uh, when we have a Dirichlet condition, on the red, uh, in the red uh, line, we have that u2 is equal to zero. Therefore, since u1 minus u2 is small, we have that u1 is small on this right line. And uh, we have also that on the green line, u, uh, moment. Uh, on, the, on the green line, we have that u1 is equal to zero. So on the shadow region, we have that u1 satisfy the uh, elliptic equation. Uh, is small on the red line and is um, uh, zero on the green line. And we can apply for the, 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 the maximum principle. If we, um, uh, we have uh, other condition, for instance, a uh, normal condition, we could apply energy estimate. 
And we obtain an estimate for um, U1 in this shadow region and for U2 in this other shadow region. So uh, um, the other steps is, uh, is um, uh, written in, in a short proposition in which uh, the crucial property is, uh, the crucial properties are uh, used. Uh, propositions say the following. Uh, if we uh, have in the previous shadow region that U uh, square is, is small, we can, um, we can uh, uh, obtain a, an elder stability estimate for the uh, outer distance with respect to, to this uh, error eta epsilon. And uh, as a consequence, if we are able to obtain an, uh, an estimate uh, uh, of log type, for u, u square j, uh, we are able to obtain a, 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 a logarithmic stability estimate for the outer distance. This is the consequence of a quantitative estimate of strong unit continuation at the interior and at the boundary. Uh, this is the best inequality the hypothesis, and this is a consequence of uh, uh, find the vanishing property at the boundary and at the interior. Now, we consider the more recent uh, results that concern the, uh, the um, a, 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 the elastic plate, the isotropic elastic plate. Um, this uh, paper, these uh, works are in cooperation always with uh, uh, Morassi and Rosette. For us, a, a, a thin elastic plate is a, um, a three dimensional body, but it has a, a small thickness. So, from a mathematical point of view, we consider uh, the plate as a, a, a bidimensional region, omega. In, in this, uh, um, it represents the middle plane of the, the plate. Uh, D is a, a rigid inclusion that uh, um, will be the unknown of all the inverse problems. The, uh, uh, adversal displacement of uh, uh, this plate uh, satisfy uh, a elliptic equation of fourth order. Here P is uh, the uh, uh, plate tensor. And now we should explain this to explain uh, in more detail this equation because we use uh, some particular uh, some particular fact of this uh, equation. The plate equation, the plate tensor is um, um, essentially a constant times the elasticity tensor. Elasticity tensor satisfy, um, first of all, the um, a major and minor uh, image condition and the electricity condition. Uh, but we assume that the materials are isotropic. So the uh, uh, plate tensor has this particular form, PA, where A is a matrix, is equal to B times uh, uh, one minus uh, uh, Ni, a decimate part of A, Ni place of A, uh, identity. Uh, over R2. And B is the band stiffness, E is the Young uh, modulus, and uh, Ni is the Poisson coefficient. And the Delamay parameter satisfy uh, this condition that uh, gives us the uh, ellipticity. 
Uh, now, the direct problem is the following. Uh, consider a rigid inclusion D. Uh, assume that D and uh, omega are simply connected uh, in the bounded domain of class, at least of class uh, 1, 1. In omega minus D, we have the, the plate equation. On uh, the boundary of uh, omega, we, <coughs> We give some input in the form of uh, uh, assigned couple field M hat. And uh, it's at the form of uh, Neumann condition. On the um, boundary of, of D, since uh, um, the, the, the D is a rigid inclusion, we have uh, the, the, the plate is, uh, is clamped, so we have uh, the, the homogeneous uh, condition. With respect to the inverse problem, gamma A, the accessible part, is the boundary of omega, and gamma I is the boundary of D. Here there is a, a picture in which I have introduced uh, the, the mechanic uh, notation that are not so, uh, sometimes are not so very nice, but uh, uh, to, to give an idea of the geometry and of uh, the, um, definition uh, of the quantity that we have. Um, on, uh, uh, on the uh, Cartesian component of uh, Hemhat, we should have a compatibility condition that uh, divides the uniqueness and the existence for the that problem. With this condition, we have uh, this um, standard uh, estimate for uh, the, the solution of the plate equation, the color plate equation. Now, the inverse problems uh, consist in uh, determining the unknown rigid inclusion D from the additional measurement of the, the plate data W and W uh, and derivative of W respect to the normal. Uh, taken on an open, open portion sigma of uh, the boundary omega. Um, in other words, we have um, on the, this portion sigma of the omega, we have uh, the Cauchy data because uh, in this best condition, we can read the uh, zero order Cauchy condition. Uh, of course, in the uh, normal derivative of W, we have the first order. Here, we have the second order uh, in its condition. And then finally, we have the third order uh, Cauchy condition. The applications. Uh, can be uh, given in uh, non descriptive testing for quality assessment of a material. Uh, the hypothesis uh, and the a priori assumption. I, I give, of course, the, the um, most important hypothesis. We assume that uh, the, the boundary of omega is the class C to one with some constant R0 zero and zero. And uh, the uh, sigma is uh, uh, it's not um, it, it contain a, a, an open set with respect to the, to the, the topology of the, the boundary of omega. We assume that the, uh, the area of omega is not to, um, can be uh, controlled by constant, and uh, we assume that. Um, the support of uh, uh, the input uh, M hat as a um, support contained in the, uh, the portion sigma in which uh, the, the measurements are, uh, are uh, considered. Also, we uh, assume uh, similarly to the second order case, that this uh, quantity that we, we call frequency uh, uh, is bounded. 
extend as, or, uh, to apply to use the stability uh, um, estimate for C problem we have to get sigma so class C31. This is uh, this are the, the, the hypothesis. Concerning the a priori assumption, um, this is the uh, the rigid uh, inclusion so is compactly contained in omega. And in particular, the distance between D and the, the boundary omega uh, is greater or equal to R zero. And we assume that uh, the boundary of the is of uh, class C uh, six alpha. I can consider this hypothesis, this a priori assumption, as a technical assumption. But as I, I saw later, it's difficult to um, to reduce. It is connected to the, uh, the um, uh, strong unit continuation at the boundary. The uh, stability estimate um, was uh, found in uh, uh, 2019. Uh, it's the following. We have uh, for a given input uh, that corresponds to the, uh, the uh, Norman data, uh, we, we have uh, that uh, the measured data are known with an error epsilon. And uh, um, as a consequence, we have that uh, the outer distance between D1 and D2 uh, can be controlled by something of order or log epsilon to uh, the negative power. Here, of course, uh, the, is the, the outer distance between D1 and D2. The main tool of the proof, uh, as uh, I, uh, I uh, uh, said before, is this theorem. Uh, ultimate spheres inequality at the boundary, proved uh, by Sandrini, set myself in 2019. Uh, say that if X0 is a point of uh, the boundary of D, and W is the solution of um, the color plate equation in omega minus D, then uh, W satisfy this uh, inequality. It's long to read, but it's uh, simple to understand because uh, it is uh, the three sphere inequality, three sphere inequality at the boundary because uh, the, the, the domain uh, are uh, intersection, uh, uh, domain uh, of integration here, uh, intersection of both with uh, uh, omega minus t. The exponent is optimal exponent in the sense that uh, um, when R1 is the smallest radius, when, when R, uh, R1 go to zero, it responds as the same asymptotic behavior of uh, Adamar, Adamar uh, exponent. And as a consequence of this uh, triple theorem, um, we have um, this uh, finite vanishing rate at the boundary. Also, um, here I have represented the, the picture, the situation to recall what we have. On the right uh, line, we have uh, in this case, the uh, the clay condition because the, the plate is uh, clamp, clamped on uh, on uh, the, mm, I want to also recall that on uh, the the that, uh, uh, I I have uh, given 
are um, sort of local type. So uh, this is not very important uh, if the, uh, the clay condition is um, uh, the homogeneous clay condition uh, holds true on all the boundaries. Only on the on the interior, on 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 a, on a negative of the point x zero. So um, uh, this uh, condition said exactly the same uh, of um, uh, we uh, already uh, seen for second order elliptic. Uh, and the, this property is, is crucial to prove the uh, logarithmic stability of the state. This, this is crucial with another property that is more classic. It uh, is the finite vanishing rate in the interior that we use in, in the following form. If x here is the point of omega minus uh, uh, of D and the, the ball of uh, center x0 and the radius R is the con compatibly contained in this uh, set, then the, the integral of the, the square of the, the modulus of action uh, cannot be anything. Uh, uh, more than a, 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 a polynomial. Uh, perhaps uh, the, the first qualitative result of this uh, property was given in uh, ER 50 by Tegra, Stirota, and Japanese mathematician. Uh, Concerning the, 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 the basic step of the stability proof, uh, the steps are very similar to the case uh, of uh, second order equation. Indeed, uh, we have uh, two steps. Uh, or even in this case, we have two couple of steps, but uh, um, we, we and in the first uh, part of this uh, step, we have uh, a, a, a stability estimate of continuation from course data. And uh, uh, to carry a, in a helder way this error on the outdoor distance, we need the three um, square inequality in the interior and at the boundary. We need the finite density property at the interior and at the boundary. Uh, another result of finite rate uh, vanishing at the boundary can be proved paper in preparation uh, for the plate uh, equal of plate equation when the, the plate is uh, locally hinged. On the, on the boundary of D. Uh, now I give some uh, some um, I say something about this uh, uh, generalized plane stress problem. Uh, we uh, have again a a, a plate, uh, a plate, but uh, um, before um, we uh, we had that uh, the displacement um, was uh, transversal. Now the displacement are in the same plane of the plate, and they. Um, uh, in this case, we have uh, not more an equation, but a system. A system uh, that can be written in this form. 
I consider it only the uh, locally because the, we are interested only to the uh, crucial property. Um, uh, N alpha beta uh, is the stress tensor. Uh, C is the um, elasticity tensor. Uh, epsilon is the strain tensor. Here U is uh, simply connected, and uh, so we assume that uh, R0 is small enough. And uh, we assume also in this case that uh, C is uh, a this is tensor of uh, isotropic material. I don't read this formula, but uh, you can see that this is uh, similar to the previous one. Uh, but uh, it is important to uh, recall that here we have uh, a different situation because uh, before we, we have a transversal uh, displacement uh, orthogonal to the, the plane of the plate. Now it's in the same uh, plane of the plate. Uh, for our results uh, are very important to use this magic function, the uh, magic and plastic function, the A function. Uh, that in some sense uh, transform the uh, plane stress problem, the elasticity uh, um, system, two dimensions uh, system, in an equation that has the same structure of the Kirchhoff law plate equation. But uh, about concerning the, the, the Neumann, the, the boundary condition, this A function transforms the Neumann condition for the um, uh, Plane stress problem in the uh, Dirichlet condition for the for the uh, fourth order equation uh, of the kind of Kirchhoff and vice versa. I I I, I skip uh, or I go very 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 fast to, uh, to describe this uh, magic function because if we write uh, uh, the system for component, we can see that uh, these uh, um, two uh, differential forms are exact. It's uh, only the consequence of the system. So they have uh, uh, two primitive, um, the tilde one, the tilde two, and by the symmetry of the uh, uh, <coughs> The stress uh, tensor, we have uh, that also this form is, uh, um, is exact. And the, um, the family of a primitive of this form uh, uh, contains the, uh, the Eddy function. And by some calculation, can be seen that uh, this uh, function. Uh, all these functions I satisfy an equation that is that has the same the same structure of the plate equation, the Kirchhoff equation. So a fourth order equation, and by choosing the arbitrary constant, we, uh, we can also have that if on the uh, elasticity system we have Neumann condition, we can write in uh, this new context the, this condition as a, a Dirichlet, a homogeneous Dirichlet condition. With this translation, we can translate the, uh, our results for um, uh, the critical flow plate equation and we obtain an. Um, a fine vanishing property for the gradient of uh, um, 
for the gradient of the solution of the uh, uh, generalized stress problem. And we, we apply this uh, inequality to find um, optimal stability estimate for the identification of cavities in uh, generalized plane stress problem. Now I give, I have some minutes uh, perhaps uh, to give uh, some sketch of a proof of this fierce inequality at the boundary. Uh, the plate equation, which is very important for us, can be written in this form. Uh, delta square W uh, is equal to a lower order term. In this lower order terms, you can distinguish a second order terms and the particular form of third order terms. Uh, this vector uh, times uh, a, the gradient of uh, the uh, Laplace of W. Um, the first uh, step uh, consists in uh, uh, flatten the, 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 the portion of the boundary in which we have the typical condition. And uh, we can uh, flatten this uh, uh, portion of boundary by a conformal mapping. Uh, this is important uh, that uh, by using this conformal mapping, the structure of the equation that you obtain is the uh, same. This we have. Uh, that the delta uh, square of u is u is transformed of w delta uh, square of u is uh, uh, equal to uh, uh, vector coefficient times uh, gradient uh, Laplace of u Laplace operator of u and a second order operator. And here we have the physical condition. Now, we use a, a tool that um, is generally used, was generally used um, um, classically. Uh, to, um, to find uh, in the context of analytic continuation. The first that uh, uh, considered this, this, this reflection was perhaps for its in 1946. And was studied by other authors, particularly by John. This reflection is, um, uh, works in, in, in some way that is not simple to explain. But uh, uh, if we, for instance, we apply this uh, reflection to a uh, data square equation, we have that uh, well, data square equation with the uh, uh, Dirichlet. Uh, homogeneous data, we have that uh, the reflected solution is uh, 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 again a solution of plate, uh, uh, of uh, data square equation, data square equation. In, uh, in other uh, words, if we have constant coefficients, this uh, reflection transforms the, the plate uh, uh, equation in the plate equation. Uh, it's a form of uh, vast reflection. But uh, we use this reflection in the context of non-analytic boundary. Also, we use this uh, Kalman estimate uh, uh, in which the, 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 the weight rho has the same behavior of the, the the 
distance between the point x, y from zero. Uh, roughly speaking, this uh, Kalman estimate imply the optimal sphere inequality. But here we have additional difficulties. Because uh, we can imagine to apply this uh, Kalman estimate in a standard way. So we introduce uh, a cutoff function, uh, chi, uh, radial, uh, radial function. Here is represented this uh, function eta. So uh, chi is zero. Uh, the, the small ball of radius r over four and is zero on a, a big uh, ball. And uh, we uh, put this uh, function u in the Kalman estimate. But uh, we have a big problem because uh, the term of delta square uh, b, delta square b, recall that b is uh, the, the uh, um, reflected, uh, uh, the reflection of the solution. The terms that are on the right in the Kalman estimate involves not only derivative up to the third orders, but in, involve derivative of u up to the sixth order. Because uh, uh, we have done the um, particular type of, of reflection. We have this tense. When we apply delta square to this, we have delta, uh, delta cube. But uh, in order to overcome this uh, obstruction, we write uh, carefully the delta square of b as a sum of uh, two good terms, p2 b and p3 b. p2 b is a, a second order operator, p3 u is a third order operator, and th this uh, operator can be um, can be absorbed by uh, the left hand side. And a, a bed, the bed terms are written in the uh, function H. The function H is written in a particular way. Uh, roughly speaking, uh, H is the uh, product of uh, one over Y and a function uh, that is zero when y is zero. We prepare uh, to apply, we prepare a situation to apply the uh, Hardy inequality. Hardy inequality is a, this classic inequality. Uh, now, after some calculation, we can write our Kalman estimate uh, in this uh, form. The, the black uh, form formula are uh, I finished two minutes. The formula are uh, uh, in the left hand side. E2 and E3 are good terms and can be absorbed on the, the left. And uh, these terms can be um, can be treated um, by uh, Hardy inequality. So uh, applying Hardy inequality, we uh, can uh, estimate the bad terms by uh, derivative up to the third order that can be absorbed on the on the left hand side finally and i finish it uh, i want to give some uh, open question uh, first question could uh, the assumption uh, gamma um, in uh, c, c alpha be used other question 
to study the case of isotropic kilocalorie plate, but not only with the Higgly Clay boundary condition, but with the Neumann boundary condition. This is more difficult. Then, uh, the other question is uh, uh, more general because uh, the third order is uh, third order uh, terms on the right is of general type. And the most difficult, perhaps most difficult question is the, to uh, study the fight uh, the rate vanishing property. That's the boundary for the main system in three dimensions. And fi finally, thanks for your uh, attention. Thank you very much for the very nice talk. Thank you very much. Are there any questions or comments? Are there any questions or comments, please? Okay, are there any questions or comments? Okay, if not, thank you very much, Sergio, for the very nice talk. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming. Thank you very much.